Governor Brad Little declared this week as the Idaho Community Supported Agriculture Week. It is a time where we can recognize local family owned farms and ranches and how they contribute to our community and local economy. And today we are joined by Kelsey Kilgore, Andrea Bruce and Erica White. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, really a pleasure to have all three of you here. Uh, we'll start with you, Erica. Tell me a little bit more about the, the mission as a whole and why is this beneficial to our community? Yeah, well, for the Idaho State Department of Agriculture, um, Idaho Preferred Program specifically, our mission is to promote, connect, and educate Idaho's farmers, ranchers, and food crafters to grow their marketplace. So our proclamation efforts are really symbolize uh, being able to support our local producer community and show off that diversity throughout the state. Yeah, I want to know a little bit. I mean, we're looking at the declaration right now. I mean, what does this mean to you um, really to have this now official? I mean, for us, um, it's, it's exciting. We have seen an 81% increase in our uh, over last year for our CSAs throughout the state. So we officially have over 95 CSAs to really, um, I mean, give you guys good perspective on the diversity that's out there um, in your local communities. And we always hear about supporting local and how important it is, but in your own words, I mean, why is this so important to support? Well, it's such a great way for the community to access the farmer and actually, you know, see where their food is grown and be a part of that and then, you know, just helps the farmer in the early season and then they get the bounty throughout the rest of the season. So it's sort of really great that way. It truly, it truly is. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how people can find the producers? Uh, how does that all work? Yeah, so through the Idaho Preferred website, we do have a CSA resource. It's a findability tool and a directory statewide. So you can go on there and you can identify where those local producers are. Yeah. Is there anything else that we're missing that you think is important to know here? Yes, and that is it's a great way for people to know where their food is coming from. They can also see, in our case, we offer a beef CSA, and they can also see how the lands, the animals, and in produce CSAs, how these soils are being treated, taken care of, and managed for the benefit of the future. One more time, where is the best place for people to get more information? IdahoPreferred.com. Go find local and click find a local CSA. Perfect. Well, thank you to all three of you for being here and, and spreading a little bit more awareness of what this is and how exciting it is to have it all um, in paper you. here. So thank you thank again. You. Thank you. And here's a, another cool fact here. Tomorrow morning on Wake Up Idaho, our Hector Mendoza will be live at the breakfast, right, that they're having, um, that you guys are having, right, that you guys are, are hosting, that is. Uh, through, yeah, through mm -hmm. I yeah. All right, awesome. So you can check that out on Wake Up Idaho tomorrow morning. We'll be right back.